press briefing. This is the second edition of African Fashion and Arts Award happening here in Nigeria in Jabilik Moor, Abuja. Alpha has its aims and objectives and our major aim is to look at the inherent talent in fashion and arts in Nigeria and Africa and to see how we can harness that and make sure we use it to improve trade and, Af of course, African intra-business relationship. One of the ways we intend to do this is by first of all setting up a masterclass, which is a session that can help improve the skills on fashion and arts for our various entrepreneurs. We're trying to say that we're encouraging people to get into this sector. Africa has about 1.5 billion persons. And out of this number, about 25 or 35% of them are adults, older than 35. The rest 70% are persons who are between the ages of 15 to 35 years, which means Africa is made up of about 70% of youth. Now, every investment, every business, every venture that is geared towards the development of youth in Africa is the right way to go. And we're saying fashion and art is that sector that is very viable, that can create job opportunities, that can create employment, that can help economic development for nations in Africa. And this is one of the ways we are helping achieve this. Another thing we also considered is trade and business relationship. We have to have that intra-African business relationship for the development of Africa as a continent. Fashion and arts is that sector that we are encouraging young persons to go into and to infuse technology in fashion and arts. We've set up in African Fashion and Arts Award a masterclass that will train young persons in the skills required to go into businesses in fashion and arts. We can also agree with me that art is all encompassing, it's very broad. We we'll have music in art, we we'll have fashion in art, we we'll have painting in art, we we'll have crafts and sculptures in art. And this is one project we are using to connect every dot in that industry to say this is the way to go. Of course, to do this, we've identified with several organizations. The private sector presence example, we are here in Jabilek Mall, which means that they believe in the vision and mission of African Fashion and Arts Award. That's why we're here. And then we've also identified with several other organizations in Nigeria as the host nation to say what we're doing is in right order. Youth development, entrepreneurship, skill acquisition. The masterclass is taking place here in Abuja for you to gain free, free training on various skills in photography, fashion, entrepreneurship, business development, and of course, even health, because they still need that in whatever it is they do. The next aspect is this, when you've trained these individuals, you need to have a marketplace for them to relate, network, and of course, exhibit or sell that which they've produced. So at African Fashion and Art Award 2002 edition, we'll have a marketplace called the Vendor Fair. This Vendor Fair is an avenue for people to network, make sales, and of course, make ends meet as well. Then we've also decided to recognize and appreciate everyone who has contributed into the development of fashion and art industry in Africa at large by way of awarding them in this project. This is taking place in the African Fashion and Art Award Show. So every individual, organization, businesses, brands, companies, and government agencies that have contributed in some way or the other by developing the youth towards this very sector of ours, we are saying we are recognizing them, we are appreciating them, and we're going to award them on that day. This is, of course, a press briefing for the people in Abuja, for the people in Nigeria, for people in Africa, and the world at large to understand that the youth need to be gainfully involved, gainfully engaged in the development of their skills for self-reliance, and we are saying once again that this is the sector to go. We are calling every sector, every organization that can contribute going forward to the development of this project 
and of course several other projects for youth development to please step forward and then of course posterity will appreciate them for that.